No, it's the protester. Oh. What are you guys Something. doing? Nothing. Causing trouble? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't know what that random squeak was, and I completely understand that this was a bit of a dramatic reaction, but you need the backstory to completely get why I was so flustered by this loud boom that you all heard. All right, enough of this embarrassing freeze frame. Normal news package starts here. The Superior Court of Maricopa County experienced a partial evacuation today after security reported a suspicious object in the courtyard. Right now, it's just a hard plastic case. It's just don't know what's in it. Can't see through it. It's nobody wants to touch it. Enter Sheriff Joe's bomb squad. Called to the scene today because Lieutenant McQuarrie says every bomb threat is taken seriously. Now, it's not going to be big enough to take any of the buildings down. That's why we didn't do a full evacuation of the buildings and stop the courts. To be safe, the bomb squad brought this remote controlled machine. It has a high enough PSI that whatever's in it, it'll blow a hole completely through it. So if there is any detonation devices inside wires, it'll, it'll tear all that stuff up, ruin the connection right there, and it'll keep the device from blowing up. The bomb squad robot has just taken x-rays of the suspicious package. Law enforcement has looked over these x-rays and they're still not sure what's going on in the package, but they've asked us to move out of the way. We don't ever look over any suspicious packages. We treat them all the same. We treat them all as if they are a bomb threat and render it neutral. And this is the way that they usually do it. You send in the, uh, the robot, typically with the cannon, blow up whatever the contents are. It could be a duffel bag full of clothes for all we know but we just don't know what's in it. So, in conclusion, we're back here again. The robot ended up blowing the package up, but we are still not sure of its contents. Now, don't tell me you wouldn't act the same way. Reporting for JMC 305, I'm Liz Kodalik. I mean, that's good footage of me freaking out, I guess. <laughs>